cannot tell you enough that if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not doing the work yourself, if you're not getting yourself so that you have pride in yourself, if you're still feeling like you got devils on your back that you need to shake off, shake them off. Do what you need to do personally to get yourself up to a point where you're like, wow, I, I have a sense of pride in myself. I've conquered things I didn't think I was going to conquer. I'm tackling my own things that I need to get a handle on. I'm working through. That's why it's so important for you to keep getting mentorship coaching. It's so important for you to continue signing up for your coaching. Not only are you helping someone else out, you need to talk about what you're going through too. And you need to also talk about if you've been a mentor coach and you need a coach, you might say, God, I am just so glad to have you to talk to today because I'm mentoring people and I'm having a hard time shaking off some of the people that I've mentored. So it's important for you for the rest of your life to keep signing up to have a coach. Okay. So we're here for you. You never have to pay for coaching for the rest of your life. So you're always, and it's become so beautiful. Let me tell you how beautiful it becomes when the next group come in and you're mentoring them. And then the day is going to come when you're coaching and you're making money, but you're a human being and you're going to have your own struggles. No matter how empowered you are, you're a human being. So you need to have someone to talk to. You need to have someone to go to. You need to have someone to share with. You need to have a place where you can just shake that devil off your back. And so that's why I really encourage you to always have a coach. Never let yourself go longer than a month without booking yourself out when with a mentor coach is my suggestion. Therapists need therapy. Coaches need coaches. Trainers need trainers. Dietitians, they just, I, I mean, we all need someone to go to that's outside of us. And what place better than to have a sisterhood of women who got you and you're safe with, and they understand what you're going through. And you've maybe supported them at one point and oh my God, the student you once mentored is now mentoring you. It's a beautiful thing. And deep friendships have been forged. Don't mind my email again. Deep friendships have been forged because of this. Um, so really use all of the tools that are being given to you, which are not just for you to mentor people, but it's so powerful. And it's so powerful. Listen, I use this as an example when I was a trainer, when I was literally a trainer or when I was teaching classes or I'm a yoga teacher. I need to go to other people's yoga classes. I can't just remain the teacher. I have to go to other people's classes to remind me, to ground me, to bring me back, to make me go, that was awesome the way she ended that class. Or to book myself. I will still, I'm a nutritionist. I will still book in with a nutritionist at times. I still go to a homeopathic doctor. I go to an osteopath. I go to a massage therapist. I go to, I always... And making sure that I make sure my cup is full.